sort of like the first big tour for the Beta Machine. So uh, it's really nice to get to play in front of all these rad crowds every night. I'm here with both the Beta Machine and the Perfect Circle. Playing with both bands. The guys working overtime, doing double duty. For the rig in general, for the Beta Machine, we try to keep things pretty low maintenance because there's not a lot of time and uh, to set up, break down. You know, we're trying to keep things super streamlined. So we don't need a ton of people to help us set up and everything. We're kind of doing some of it ourselves. So I just uh, kind of put together a kind of bare bones pedal board with some essentials. And um, just for, instead of using an amp, which it's always nice to use an amp. We all like to use amps, of course. We all want tubes. We don't want that fucking, just that nice shiny tube warmth, but um, sometimes you don't have the luxury and you just need a pedal board with an awesome DI. So uh, I put together this guy, tuner, boss tuner. Um, and actually originally it was these other four pedals, which is the full tone OCD. It's a great overdrive. A lot of people, obviously a lot of people use it on guitar, but um, it's kind of overlooked as a bass overdrive. Uh, surprisingly, uh, it sounds fucking great. Keeps the low end intact. And um, Earthquaker, of course, the Hoof Reaper, which is uh, this two channel octave fuzz that uh, can go kind of zero to a million in two pedal stomps, which is quite nice. It's kind of how I have it set up. Um, so, in case I'm feeling extra funky on any given night, I could just kind of kick it into high gear. Kind of a go-to, it's like, it's kind of a, a thing we do. We're like tracking bass, we're kind of like, I feel like something's missing. Like, let's just put it through a shitload of fuzz pedals and see what happens. Like, it's kind of always the go-to. This thing is definitely doing our songs justice. And then a Boss Digital Delay. Um, which sounds great just on the analog setting. Um, I really like the, uh, just having the, the ease of the tap tempo thing. It's so quick to just kind of dial in. And every song kind of has a, I only use the delay on a few songs, but they're all a little bit different. So if I want to change the tempo really quick, I can just, I like the convenience. And then a radial, uh, DI, the, uh, the bass bone, the bass tone bone, which is, uh, there's a two channel thing going on, but I'm just using one channel for now. I have it ready for a backup bass just in case something happens. I have another channel that's kind of set to those parameters um, using this Fender Starcaster bass uh, for everything. But if it, something should happen, I have another bass. It has a slightly different configuration. Fortunate to meet some people from Dark Glass Electronics um, recently, and they hit me to the Vintage Ultra pedal. It's a, like a bass preamp, which is exactly how I'm using it. Just threw it in front of the chain, and immediately just kind of like this sort of uh, this sort of uh, I guess concerns that I had about not using an amp kind of just went away. It was like a lot of extra tone shaping, more warmth, more presence. Um, you know, especially with the semi-hollow bass, you know, it's kind of, kind of nice to have that. It's pretty dialed. I haven't had to touch a thing since. It's just like, that's the sound. It's working great. Whoa. Oh, crazy. Pretty gnarly, dude. I like having things that are unique. Obviously, you want your go-to overdrives, your fuzz, your you know whatever, your delay, your sort of workhorses. But when it comes to uh, being creative, it's nice to have pedals that do something that you're not really expecting. Like Jesus Christ, like I can't imagine just plugging in this thing, like plugging into this thing and just like going to town with zero ideas or zero expectations of a song. And you could probably come up with something pretty quick, you know, just something that you weren't expecting, you know. And I think, I think using a pedal as a 
as an orchestration tool in that way is really nice. Sometimes I'm there to just match the tone from a song that already exists or a thing that's already been recorded, or I'll just plug it in, especially with, you know, with both channels going on on the Hoof Reaper, and it's just like, okay, that doesn't sound like any other pedal I have. So, you know, there's just massive amounts of feedback and there's crazy overtones going on. I might not have written a certain riff that way if I'm just sitting in my room playing like an acoustic guitar, you know. I think with pedals, it's, it's nice to have something that has like a character to it, something, something unique that doesn't already exist.